Turn with me to John chapter 16. John chapter 16, verse 5. Or if you come and read the first place, 5 to 16. John chapter 16, verse 5 to 16. Or if you come and read the first place. Now I am going to him who sent me, yet none of you asked me, where are you going? Because I have said these things, you are filled with grief. But I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the counsellor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will convict the world of guilt in regard to sin and righteousness and judgment. In regard to sin, because men do not believe in me. In regard to righteousness, because I am going to the Father, where you can see me no longer. And in regard to judgment, because the Prince of this world now stands condemned. I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear. But when he, the Spirit of Truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will bring glory to me by taking what is mine and making it known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said that the Spirit will take from what is mine and make it known to you. In a little while you will see me no more, and then after a little while you will see me. Thank you, Paul. Shall we go Father, what is written in this part? Just what you have said, Jesus, when you are on this earth. Help us to open up our hearts to fully understand what you taught your children there. So that we can operate in the time, your visitation time. And you are your, your time so we can perfectly manage it, your, your time that we can live in the place, we can function in the generation as we are living in there, when we understand what you are talking about here. Holy Spirit, have your way. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for being obedient to your Heavenly Father and dying on the cross. Thank you that you lead the greatest blessing in our life. Holy Spirit for us to work with this time. Even in 2018 and the beginning of 2019 we can work because Jesus your faithfulness and obedience to the cross of Calvary. Release the freedom for us. Release the Holy Spirit into our life so we can see you. We can worship you. We can, we can understand the Heavenly Father. This morning Holy Spirit have your way. All I need in this place is your presence of God. All I need is not a beautiful music. All I need is not a beautiful singing. Though everything helps. But all I need is your presence in this place. Reveal yourselves to individual people. Reveal your, your true potential to the people. So that their heart may be synchronized with you. Their spirit will be synchronized with you. So that they will become the head and not become the child. I bind every religious spirit, every judgmental spirit in the name of Jesus. Even for those people right now sitting and watching on the internet, Father, there will be breakthrough in their life. Your presence shall surround the rooms. Their presence, your presence will surround the house. You will captivate them. They will come in your kingdom and they will be powerful people. Your presence, O oh God, we need. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray this prayer. God's people shall today, Amen. <laughs> Paul was thanking God for reading this. This is very, very important for us to understand what Jesus said. Because we are coming to chapter 16. John chapter is going to be finished in, in there is not many more chapters here. 16, 4, 5 chapter there and that thing is finished. Jesus is talking something. Somebody very important to you in your life. He said, I got another one hour before you all will disappear from you. Listen to me carefully. How much they will listen to you? We take it for many things for granted. If the person you love most in this world tells you, I got only one day to be with you, after that you will not see me on this yet, would you listen to me? You would put everything.
sit down and listen to the person, what is he talking? That's exactly this chapter 16 is God is talking about. Jesus is talking to his disciples, but the disciples, you know, we are human beings born out of the sin. Because the Bible says everybody has sinned and come short of glory. So we have a human mind, a human eyes, a human wisdom. That's what the Bible says, fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It changes everything that it has got no value, it can fetch into every religion, there is nothing. You know, I was listening to this, uh, this, this testimony of a person that the language was Malayalam. The language was Malayalam because I understand the Malayalam. I was listening to this message. This is a person who convert, who come to the Lord, who worshipped, you know, 37,000 million gods and goddesses. And how God infiltrated his place, this is not ordinary people that are highly educated people. One was a professor in the university or a college, another person was a chartered accountant, well trained and well placed. They are not believing in Jesus, how God touched and changed their lives. I don't know the person, but the testimony, I was listening to them because the Holy Spirit, this is what Jesus said, talked about his purpose and plan, what is going to happen on the face of this year. You know, we celebrate Christmas, we had a wonderful Christmas, I can ask you, did you have a good Christmas? What do you get for Christmas? And some people will say lots of things. I bought this for Christmas. And I can ask you, have you got what you wanted for Christmas? I can talk about it. You would have got your own thing. But the most important thing is Jesus Christ came on this yet. And to complete the job, I keep done that great thing. If I don't go, the counselor won't come. Say, let me take a few things back to you. A lot of things going on in my mind I want to share with you. One. He said, completely believe in God Almighty, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the blessings, and David, they know the King David, and all those things, he said, was separating, everything that. But suddenly, Jesus was born, Christmas arrived. Jesus was born, and immediately there was a big stirring up of a trouble, apart from few people, and many of the religious people believed in Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all those things, they turned against Jesus. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shall we shout Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father God sent Jesus Christ. Everybody agree? <laughs> Father God sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, on this year. He arrived in Palestine. Many of you have been there. And one time I was staying close to that. In the, in the Bethlehem, I stayed there. You didn't stay. Those who came with me, I didn't put you there in Palestine. I stayed because it's, it's my own set of life. I was alone there along with other people. So I stayed in Palestine. I stayed in Bethlehem. You hear the gunshot, you, you know, you didn't stay. Those who came with me didn't stay in a dangerous place. I stayed in a very dangerous place. You hear the gunshot, 9, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. You turn around to this side of the Okay? What I'm trying to tell you is Jesus came to the place. He was born in Palestine. Palestine, the land of Palestine, Jesus was born. And he comes as the Savior, and what can came out of Nazareth, the religious people said, forget about Jesus, who is this Jesus? God put the Son. What can good can come out of Nazareth? They turned away. The time is lost. Jesus completed everything there. His journey, his preaching, his teaching, and everything he finished, he died on the cross. And then the centurion who was crucified, truly he is the Son of God. He's shouting, He is the truly the Son of God, because yet earthquake and the dead is rising from the town. You read in the Bible, when Jesus died, those who died before, rose from the grave, the grave opened, and those who died, rose from the place, they were wandering around in the city. Hey, we buried him long time ago. Are you ready to the This one, people, please, 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 you need to read the Bible. If you read the Bible, Genesis to Revelation, regularly, it's not a prescription, I tell you. If you don't read it, my message will go through your here. It's difficult. I'm not taking a kindergarten lesson 
you need to study the word of God again and again. If you haven't finished time, start again, start again, start again, start again. If you don't read, I will be a magician to you. I will be somebody who is sort of for a great man. I'm not a great man. I'm good as you are. Good. Shall we shout out? Please tell me the word I'm very good. Please tell me the other name, but you are very good. You need to understand. You need to understand that. But you know how quickly you can get the more you read the word of God again, again, and again. You come across characters. You come across various people in the Bible. And then you would like to become like that in the generation at the time. When Jesus came, okay, he's doing miracles, he's doing a lot of things, he's turning a lot of difficult situations, and nobody, and they caught him, they crucified him. Because God the Son of God came there. Because you know why? They missed it. Jesus was crucified, but the gospel, what happened in 2018, the end of 2018, we are here. The gospel has traveled 2018, 2018 years with power and strength and anointing. Because you know why? The work of the Holy Spirit, nobody can stop. Nobody can stop. No government can stop. No, no nation, no principality, nothing can stop. The gospel traveled very fast because you know why? That's what Jesus was saying here. See, when Jesus arrived, people missed Jesus. They were saying, oh, our son, our Abraham, and David, they are all really powerful people who they are. When Jesus went around and said, I see Abraham, I see Moses. Eh? He's speaking heresy. He's only a boy. He's only a man. We are old, beard, and all the things are there for us. And who is this boy? He says he see Moses, he see David. Am I talking from the Bible? Hello? Let me show the image. Amen. Jesus was talking. I was with Abraham. I was with all these people. They got baffled. They didn't understand. How could we? He is a liar. He is confusing. He is also some of the things we were judging. But Jesus has seen. That's why in the Mount Transfiguration, he taken the disciples at the Mount Transfiguration. Suddenly the glory of the Lord descended on him. They see Elisha and Moses there with Jesus. Shall we shout out? Because you know what? He existed right from the beginning. Jesus existed right from the beginning. And he came to be promised. Today I tell you. Today the world, you know, in the West, particularly in the West, I tell you, America the same thing. England is the same thing. Many England, many countries of the Western hemisphere is the same thing. Because you know why? Jesus, they love Jesus, they love Christmas, they love everything with it. But you know what Jesus said? I am going back, I am sending something to the Holy Spirit. Father God sent the Son Jesus Christ, we celebrate the Christmas. Millions of pounds is spent and all the things is done. Christ, yes, Christ's teaching is good. So we wanted to help every poor nation, we wanted to go and sort out the war, we wanted to go and sort out everything that, because that's what Christ has taught us. But what is missing is, Jesus said, I am going to my heavenly Father, but I am sending the third form, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Why would Jesus go? It is good for you, I am going. The Holy Spirit is coming on this year. The operation thing on this year today is, is not just Jesus Christ, it's the Spirit of the Lord. Shall we shout out again? So what happened? We are bringing, oh, we, our God is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes! Our Lord is Jesus Christ, but what is operating on this yet today is the Holy Spirit. If you don't understand, hunger and thirst for the Holy Spirit, hunger and thirst for the purpose of God, God will transform your life, fill your life with the Holy Spirit. Then what happened? The counselor is with you. Counselor is with you for your marriage, for everything. This is said, without me you can do nothing. See, the Holy Spirit is speaking for a long time. Holy Spirit was there in the Old Testament. Holy Spirit was there when Jesus came on this yet. But here is an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. As soon as Jesus has gone to heaven, the Holy Spirit descended on this yet. Shall we stop coming? Oh, yeah. It's very difficult to understand. Because I can see that's Chris. And I love him and he loves me. And we can say we love the people. We can give them a hug. We are living in a religion. The same Spirit raised up Jesus from death and to life. Is inside him. It's a different measure. But inside him. 
Then one of you sitting here, the Spirit of the Lord raised up Jesus from death and to life with Mission is different. Mission is different. To the extent you are seeing God, you are extend your understanding, they extend your obedience to the Godly principle, the mission poured out is different. You may be thirsty, but some people have a small sip of water. I don't want to go to do very really often, so I have a small sip. But some people drink, it's good for me. I tell you, I'll ask the doctor if they don't the same day. Drink as much as you can. How many times you go to the room? Doesn't matter. They clean up your system. I'm going to write down. It's good for you to drink. Water. But you know, if you, are, if you feel like I'm not going to drink, you're not going to drink, you'll be drinking. Okay, that's the dirty word of Pastor Sammy's heart. I'm not drinking. Fine. Now can you shout to open? No, I don't want to speak in tongues. 
What happened? We have no understanding. They got no understanding. Because you know, Jesus came to baptize him with the holy fire. Yes, when you are baptized with the Holy Spirit, the whole Bible opens up completely differently. The same word, you don't change one letter or one comma, one full stop, but you open up differently, you understand the kingdom of God. You are functioning on this earth, no matter whatever the capacity, you understand the Lord God Almighty is working through your life. Because when, he, when the Spirit comes, He guides you into all the truth. I tell you, most of the people come here and sit in here because the Holy Spirit guided you. You're hungry and thirsty. I don't know, no, no, I don't know that because pastors have preached for a long time. I used to have some jokes and laughter and nice and fellowship and he's there. He speaks some stuff. Because if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, you won't understand what I'm talking about. I at least even if you're not filled with the with the Holy Spirit, God, I'm hungry and thirsty. What happened? I'm hungry and thirsty. I want to eat. <coughs> I want to have some nice pizzas. I want to eat. I'm hungry. The necessity is not your head knowledge. Hungry and thirsty. How I am hungry and thirsty, and He will speak. And God is beginning to use you to speak powerful things of God. We are functioning in the Holy Spirit. See, don't function in the time of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then you will be building altars there, altars here, everywhere, and catching hold of the lambs and trying to sacrifice. Don't live in the religion. And Jesus Christ came. Oh, Jesus was a uh, Jesus died on the cross and struggled for everything there. But he brought us victory. So I'm going to struggle in my life completely. I'm going to be a martyr. I'll be a martyr. Everybody can blame me. I'll be the poor mind. Yes, you can. But uh, if there is a reason for you to suffer in the place where people are struggling for the sake of gospel, for the sake of testimony, but don't put on a martyr show because Jesus said, I finished everything for you. So we can celebrate the goodness of the Lord. He finished and paid for your sickness. The Bible says, by your stripes, you are healed. Amen. So he paid it for. By your sins and troubles and Jesus paid it for, it is a done deal. Jesus' death and the resurrection is a done deal. What is he promising is, we are living in a time and pouring out your spirit upon you. Those who are hungry at this day, Come to me. Let me put the next word, please. I'll tell you. He will bring you glory to me by taking from what is mine and making it known to you. The Holy Spirit brings the glory down. The glory goes back to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next word. All the thing that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said to the Spirit will take from what is mine and make it known to you. The Holy Spirit teaches the very depth of understanding of those things, intercession, prayer, and everything. Go for the next one, please. A little while, you will see me no more. And then after a little while, you see, you stay here, it's very, very key. It's a fraction of a minute. You'll be absent in the body and present with Christ. Do you understand in a different context I'm talking about? But you will be absent in the body and present with Christ. It's a fraction of a second. If a saint die, he won't struggle in the hands of the devil. Absent in the body and present with Christ. You need to match this word with that word. See, this is what the Holy Spirit does. You need to understand. Revelation, you walk the Holy Spirit bring you revelations and the revelation of the truth. This is what Jesus' word is. I'm not talking about my own word. I'm not talking about some other person's word. I'm not talking about Kenneth Copeland or anybody. But I'm talking Jesus' word. In a little while, you will see me no more. Then, after a little while, you see me again. It's not... It's not about second coming. It's the very presence of the Holy Spirit. Shall we shout hallelujah? How come the people so scared? Peter was so scared. He was running away from the Roman Empire. He was running away from all the Herod. And he was running away all the place. But suddenly, he's prepared to die for the sake of gospel. Because he's seen in a little while. It's not about second coming. Because the Holy Spirit was poured out and on them in a powerful way. They are no more the same people. They transformed. Completely upside down, their fear is gone, their struggle is gone, 
You can have millions of pounds. You can live in a very expensive house. That house will never follow you. But Jesus Christ will follow you. Absent in the body and present with Christ. The riches of glory. When you see this one, God fill me with the Holy Spirit in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a speaking God. The Holy Spirit is a speaking God. He wants to speak through your life. Hallelujah. 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 Ratri. The night is coming when no man can work. The night is coming when no woman can work. But this is the day you and I can work. The night comes when you will be hungry and thirsty. You know, this is what Jesus told about the oil. Wedding packet. Everybody is ready. The bridegroom is come. Now I don't have any oil. It's a night. This is a night. This is a night. I can't have. I can't have the oil. All the shops are closed. Can wash the hand. Can I borrow from you something? I hope I will be with that good team. And somebody will come to you, Chris. Can I borrow some oil from you? No. It's enough for me only. You'll be that person asking for oil on the midnight. Dear yes, morning, the bridegroom has come. I live in judgment. I live in criticism. I live in those things. I don't have oil. Now can I borrow some? A night comes so no man can do business. A night comes you have to look on what you have got. Holy Spirit will be one day taken out of here. I'm preaching this message because I got an assignment from God. God said preach this message. Those who are happy and Christian, they want to turn a show. They will ask God, we need you. We need the Holy Spirit. Because when you come into our mind, He don't diminish the Old Testament. He don't diminish Jesus Christ. He don't diminish the Bible. You open up your heart to fully understand who I am, what I am doing. I'm not searching some religious thing. It's a Sunday. It's a Sabbath day. You can't heal the sick. It's a Sabbath day. Let him go into the hell. Let the cow fall into the pit. Let it remain there and they will die and rot. No, he lifted the cow out of the pit. That's what Jesus said. It knocks off the religious people. No, I'm going to sit there and trouble my thumb. I'm going to not leave one person to Christ. I'm not going to speak the gospel to anybody because you are no different from the religious people. When the Holy Spirit inside you, I'm going to wait for you. But my office is closed. In the office, I can't speak about the gospel. When this person is coming outside the office or my hospital or the thing, I can share the gospel with them because the Holy Spirit is inside you. This is not a time for conviction of sin. This is the time to move in God's power. 2012, sorry, 2018 is finishing. 2019 is coming forth. God, I want to move in your power. Everything will open up for God's people. Don't look at your resources. Don't look at your limitations. You know, God is looking for people who are hungry and thirsty. God filled my life with the Holy Spirit. Your head knowledge is not going to help you. Your worldly knowledge is not going to help you. Because you know what happened? The Holy Spirit to take you to the place that you cannot go. Hallelujah. This morning with the Holy Spirit. God in the weeks, the year is ending. But I want it to be full with the Holy Spirit. Children, teenagers, you will never miss your life. Don't be dragged into anything. God fill me with the Holy Spirit. God will open up here. This year to read the Bible. I won't ask a question how many of you read the Bible. How many of you been reading the Bible? Because you know why? Your hunger and thirst for reading the Word of God will increase. Not a religious thing. If I don't read the Bible, my not angry. Mommy will be angry. But I tell you, your hunger and thirst for the Word of God will increase. The revelation out of the Word of God will increase. And the transforming power will come into your life. You will be touching people's life and transforming people's life. It's not about second coming. In a little while, you will see me no more. Then, after a little while, both are the same word. Little while, little while, you will see me. The work of the Holy Spirit, you will see. That turned the disciples upside down. They turned the world upside down. The gospel came to every part of the world. The gospel came to the dark world. The people who worship the darkness, they heard the good news. Because the gospel is moving powerfully because they have seen the Lord. They have seen the Lord. Don't wait for one day Jesus Christ to return back. Yes, manifest. The world will see that coming back is not for just for Christian only. That coming back for the world. Those who crucified him, him those who did not believe in him, every one of them will see face to face like Jesus. 
coming as the king of kings and the lord of lords. For you <coughs> and me, we are living with the king of kings and the lord of lords. That's why he said, in a little while, you will see me again. That is in the spirit. When Jesus broke the bread at the village of Emmaus, they were seen. It is Jesus. Immediately he disappeared. They see him in the garden and they thought that he was a stranger. He was a gardener. But he, he revealed himself. I am Jesus. This is the Spirit. The Holy Spirit. This is the time of the Holy Spirit Church. You know, we existed in the place. When he came here, the, there was a pulpit there. The pulpit was broken down. The steam must have seen, Marjorie must have seen. And those who are with me, I don't have seen. I said I would have seen a few people, but children would have seen. You know what happened? There's a stone there. And let me go back to the stone place. It's the squeal. This is the place the stone was. Hallelujah. This is a stone. In the stone is outside. You can see a car park, a stone. Can you see? Anybody can see a car park, there's a stone standing there. And that stone was here. On top of there was a box there. And the box is called what's called Bulb, is it? What's called So I said. It was a box. The minister was put inside the box, or has to be inside the box. He can't be wandering around like I am wandering around. I would have died if I would have died in the box. Sir. <laughs> the box is there, and there is a step here, and the step was here. Baba tell myself he removed the box if you want. And the stone was here. I said, first before restoration, Baba was with me, helping me. He's a strong man, he used to be much more younger than now he is. I'm much more older. So both of us started moving this big stone. Two of us only. Baba and myself, you may be wondering, did we have a machine? No, we moved that because the Holy Spirit told me, move me, move out of the place. So we moved the stone, got it out of the structure, got it. Because you know why? Because if you don't preach with the help of the Holy Spirit, that's why the church goes down. I'm not judging them, but I tell you, because Jesus died and rose again, he gone to heaven. If you don't speak the Holy Spirit powerfully to the people, we are living in the good old time. The war and the sort of. So Baba and myself, two of us, we just used to be hidden in technology, we moved from here. All the way to outside. It's a burden, nobody was in tune. We got out of fight was fight, ten toes out there. And then we moved carefully because Father was prepared to listen to the midst of his struggle. He would look at my eyes, what Pastor Sam is saying. Father in spirit is very, very important. You can't father people who don't want to look at your eyes. No matter what trouble he gone through, and he was looking at me. He won't wait for the word to say, Father could look in my eyes. I'm saying something, he will stop. What do you want me to do? We moved in the midst of the troubles and all those things he come up. He wants to speak to television network to you know, last week we'll share with you all the time, speaking to the network back to his life, back to Iranian people. The reason I tell you, I call him. One day he'll be an apostle. Pay the way to speak to the nations and transformation in people's life will happen. He will listen carefully and he will walk with me. This is the way you do. We move carefully because what mistake he makes, the thing will be on his door, he will break his knees or something. I will break my knees. This is kingdom. It was only a stone, but the minute he not prepared to look at my eyes, I'm not good in the expression sometimes. My wife tells me all the time. But he was looking for my expression. Pastor Sam is feeling something, let me stop here. Because if he pushed using his strength, that stone will be on my feet, I will be on his back, and I will break my back. He was listening to every movement I was doing, both of us safely. We move the thing outside. I said everybody keep away. The reason is, if people are not looking to very carefully how we do this thing, coordinated in a way, it is dangerous. What tell you? We safely move the thing outside through the difficult times. There was a typical example. In the difficult exam times also, he looked to me what Pastor Sam would say. Yes, Father, this is what you need to do. This is what you really need to do. God restored them. You know, we're just like moving the stone. They could listen to, look to your heart cry, look to what is in your heart, rather than look into the words. You didn't explain everything carefully. I will never explain everything carefully because the Holy Spirit is the same Holy Spirit inside you, inside me, each other leaping. A leaping. If you don't have the leaping, with the help of the Holy Spirit, you can't decide what happens. It's very difficult. God is a wonderful God. That's what he said. In a little while, you will see. 
When you see the Holy Spirit, you know, God builds your character. You can work with Him, you can bring healing to people, you can restoration to people, you can do a lot of things because the Holy Spirit is working with us. This this morning I want to bring this to a close. I don't want to drag on a lot, but the Holy Spirit is speaking God. He's spoken to God, has spoken to Elijah. You know what he did? Elijah, I'm speaking to you. In the Old Testament, God spoke. You know, the Holy Spirit was operating in a different, different level. When Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit came upon him. Here is the, my son in whom I am well pleased. He came as a new manifest. People were seeing what was happening there. See, when God spoke to Elijah, Elijah, this is what I am going to do. In 2 Kings, in 1 Kings, you find the Bible says the word of the Lord came to Elijah. You know, I don't want to go into the thing now, I'm getting of the time. The word of the Lord came to Elijah. The Holy Spirit was the main guy one point. Yet Adam was created, the Holy Spirit was there. And the word of the Lord came to Elijah. What happened? Now I'm going to shut down the shut down the heaven for three years, there won't be any rain. There won't be any rain on this earth. Now the Holy Spirit is speaking to Elijah again. Now we go to Ahab. Ahab is trying to kill him. Ahab is trying to kill him. Where is this man? That's the problem. They're searching everywhere. They could not find. But he was hidden, and so many people are hidden. And they're here everywhere, and the prophets were looked at him because Baal and his and all the people were killed by Elijah, and all those things were happening because the Lord had the word of the Lord came to Elijah. Now word of the Lord came later on. Now go and present yourself to Ahab. What well, Ahab is trying to kill me? How can I present myself to Ahab? But God is saying, here is a time. I am going to send forth rain. Elisha has not seen the rain. Elisha has not seen only trouble. There is poverty. There is trouble. But God is saying, go in and present you. God is a constant God who is speaking. See, he has seen the rain. No, he has not seen the rain. But go and present yourself. In faith we walk. In faith we receive. See, go and present yourself. God, I have not seen the rain. You send forth some rain, then I will go. Then I know you will believe me. You do things operate in the kingdom of heaven. When the spirit of the Lord spoke to Elijah, <coughs> go and present yourself before Ahab. He presented himself before Ahab. See, he will try to kill you. How do you present yourself? Think, fear no evil. When the Holy Spirit come upon you, this is in the Old Testament I'm talking about. Jesus, all the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit, they will be full of power. This morning, you are in the faith, when the Holy Spirit come upon you, you are prepared to throw away every nonsense that you believed in, every thing you served in, God in faith, I want to come. I want you to come and live with me. I want to be a powerful source in your hand. You know, you will present yourself. The things that you are afraid of, the people that you are afraid of, you are no more afraid because the Holy Spirit is with you. Hallelujah. That's what the Holy Spirit function is. God, if you are afraid of your exam, if you are afraid of your future, if you are afraid of your success, if you are afraid of your family, you know some people all the time are afraid of their wife. They just back their table. I'm not saying the Bible says love them. But you have to lead them into the path of righteousness. You have to help them. You have to take the lead in your hand and lead them into righteousness of God. You need to teach them, this is what you do. This is my role. I want to say, you pack up and come. Now we go to the temple of God. Let us go to the temple of God. You don't let them. You don't lead them. That's what the man's job is. Hallelujah. You love them. You lead the family by your love and your care. And living in the, if you are living in the Holy Spirit, what happens? You will have authority in your hand. Otherwise, you will be scared. You will be scared of your wife. What will happen? What you fear will come upon you. Hallelujah. If you love your wife, if you take the lead character, you will not do those things, but you are pleasing the living God. When you are pleasing the living God, the Holy Spirit says, I will never leave you, never forsake you. I will honor you with everything. Because you are a role model, you are there to role model into the word of God. You can pick and choose this word of God. From Genesis to Revelation, it's the same word of God. But the Holy Spirit is in you. Against the heart, come with me. Let us go to the house of God. Let us go to the house of God. Because you know why? If you try to please, today the world is that pleasing everything. Pleasing false religion. False religious people. False religious leaders. They are prepared to please everybody. They are pre prepared to please all the evildoers, but they are not prepared to please God. 
If your life is full with the Holy Spirit, you are fearless. I will stand before Ahab. I will stand before the enemies and proclaim Jesus is alive. He is my king. He is my role model. I will lead the way Jesus wanted to lead. Shall we stand before the living God? This morning, let the anointing.